Yeah. Well, let's get rolling with some questions really quick. Sure. Um, so Steve wants to know, he says, Thaddeus, who were some of your influences when you learned, you started learning to play the guitar? Was it R&B and funk that started it? Actually, yeah. I mean, you know, quite honestly, I mean, I'm not going to say my age, but but I but I was heavily influenced by the music of, of the 60s and 70s. Um, I would say that uh, I was I was uh, I came to sort of musical maturity back in the day when they had this thing called melody. No, I'm just I'm just kidding. Um, <laughs> I mean, know, I still love the 60s and 70s music. Oh, I mean, I grew absolutely. up on that stuff. And I mean, I'm 32. I was, you know? I was so into songs and lyrics and stuff like that. So if you just if you just go through the list and you know Motown, you know people like Marvin Gaye. Uh, the Ohio players, Stevie Wonder, you know, people like that. Um, Curtis Mayfield. Um, I discovered Jimi Hendrix in probably like 1973, like three years after he died. And I was like, whoa, what is this? And then I heard about this thing called Woodstock. And then I heard about this thing called, uh, uh, this, uh, this band called Santana, you know. Mm -hmm. So I grew up listening to all of the sort of the classic rock. I mean, back then, we were listening to American Top 40, and I grew up in the West Indies, and I grew up in St. Kitts, and we would turn on American Top 40 every Sunday, and we'd listen to the countdown from like, you know, 40, and I would listen to all of it, and you would hear an R&B tune, you'd hear the stylistics followed by, you know, uh, some class, you know, Led Zeppelin or whatever, do you right. know what I mean? Well, yeah. slightly different, but, <laughs> you know, but, but it was amazing back then, you know, there was just all these genres, you know, American Top 40, and so uh, within it, all of a sudden, this, this guitar came out, and I would say people like uh, Jimi Hendrix, uh, Carlos Santana, you know, even like Peter Frampton was all over the airwaves, so mm. I was like copying licks from him, then I heard of this thing called the Grateful Dead and Jerry Garcia, you know, and all of that kind of stuff. And so it was a mishmash of a lot of things. At the same time, growing up wanting to be people like Bob Marley and listening to Peter Tosh play guitar and how they sort of incorporated the guitar into, into that genre. They incorporated the rock guitar into the reggae, you know. Mm -hmm. And so I grew up with all of those, uh, that, that whole uh, um, melting pot of influences. And then, then I came to Berkeley. You know, and then I was like, West Montgomery, I've never, you know, so, mm -hmm. so, uh, so at one point it went straight from sort of like the more classic rock kind of things to, oh, I need to learn as much as possible about jazz. And then sort of making the journey back again and realizing that because I'm a singer and because I love, uh, my stuff is influ heavily influenced by the 70s that I, I want, that's the kind of stuff I want to play and perform, but I want to try and incorporate that's why the pentatonic stuff is so great because it allows you to incorporate some of the jazz elements without actually Pushing thinking about it. Yeah, either, without yeah, too, you know? and it's an acceptable sound. Yeah, yeah. And I think too, you you can't uh, skip out on this. Like the Isleys, like and these. Oh people, goodness, yeah. You, you play yeah. with them now. Oh yeah. And yeah. It's well, like, I, you I did do a thing. Yeah. Well, Isleys was a big stuff. influence. I mean, uh, you know, Isleys, Ohio Players, Earth, Wind, and Fire. I mean, those were all of the people I grew up, you know, listening to. Uh, gosh, I mean, the groups were so. Yeah, Isley's was, Ernie Isley was a big influence yeah. of mine. You and know? now, like, you, this, I did this cat to, has played yeah. with a lot of these guys now. Yeah, like, I got to play. Ernie played with my band. Uh, um, last year, he came and did a residency at the college, and he sat in with us for a whole show. It was just, I just couldn't believe it. I mean, like, I remember being a, a you know, an island boy listening to the Isley Brothers and this amazing wailing guitar in the context of R&B and funk, you right. know, like, which, which... I mean, cats like Ernie brought this in mm -hmm. to, you know, Ernie Prince and all these guys. You know, before that, your guitar part was, mm -hmm. you know, and then all of a sudden they bring this, this new sound in. So I was heavily in influenced by Ernie Isley.